A fisherman returns home and describes his day to his family. It was amazing. There were so many fish. Our nets were full, he exclaimed. Years later, the fisherman's son grows up and becomes a fisherman as well. As he looks over his catch, he can't help but think, this is amazing. There are so many fish. Our nets are full. Another generation passes, and another fisherman describes the day as amazing with so many fish and full nets. This concept can be described as shifting baselines. Words like a lot, amazing, and full can unintentionally have different meanings to different people. By seeing the catches side by side, we can observe that the number of fish caught was actually declining until one day the nets aren't full and the fish are hard to find. This happened in the late 1940s. The California sardine fishery had gone from booming and overflowing to almost non-existent and collapsed. Scientists knew the issues involving the collapse were dynamic and interdependent, and in an effort to understand this collapse further, what is now known as CalCAFI, the California Cooperative Oceanic Fisheries Investigation Program was formed. CalCAFI is a unique partnership between NOAA Fisheries Service, Scripps Institution of Oceanography, and the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. Four times a year, research cruises stop at specific longitude and latitude marks referred to as stations. These research cruises have been stopping at the same station locations that were plotted when the program first began in 1949. Making Kalkavi the longest running time series study of oceanic and larval fish in the world. The main goal of the program is to understand the environmental impacts of fish populations. It is expanded to also include the management of living resources and monitoring for climate change. Here are some insights from a team of Cal Coffee scientists on a Southern California research cruise. <laughs> 